here's a great new review article about cannabis for chronic pain. And they even start with a history section with Dr. O'Shaughnessy's work in India in the 1800s, where he brought the pain-killing properties of cannabis to the UK and sparked the Western interest in medical cannabis. Followed in the 1890s by Sir Russell Reynolds, the personal physician of Queen Victoria, who promoted the use of cannabis for migraines and neurological pain to the British Royal Society of Medicine. So, this review covers how the evidence has ballooned out to include different types of pain, including fibromyalgia, headaches, musculoskeletal pain, cancer-related pain, the spasticity pain of multiple sclerosis, and neuropathic pain, or nerve pain, often called the most difficult type of pain to treat. Plus, the researchers included this great chart of how the cannabinoids manage to work on so many different types of pain. Via the CB1 receptors, which are most common in the brain and spinal cord, the cannabinoids inhibit the excitatory neurotransmitters like glutamate, acetylcholine, dopamine, and noradrenaline. They also use the inhibitory transmitters like GABA to lower neuronal excitability, as in less pain signals get transmitted through the nerves. Then there are the CB2 receptors, which are on the immune cells across your body. The cannabinoids use these to suppress neuroinflammation, which is a common problem in chronic pain. And activating the CB2 receptors also reduces the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines, all of which inhibit pain signaling. With all of these pathways working together, it leads to a patient's reduced perception of pain. Also, quite importantly right now, cannabinoids have been reliably shown to help opioids work better. A number of reviews and meta-analyses point to the fact that people can use cannabinoids to lower or stop their use of opioids. And perhaps most importantly of all, the many surveys of people in the real world find an overwhelming support for the ability of cannabinoids to alleviate symptoms of chronic pain that significantly impact their quality of life. So for anyone out there dealing with chronic pain, the usual best pathway to find out what works for you is to start with a lot of CBD and then begin adding small doses of THC until you find the sweet spot that works for you to give you the quality of life that you're looking for. For more data, see the pain and inflammation page of cvresearch.info.